Hi, happy Friday, early start. Um, today concludes week one for our writing workshop. So I'm hoping this week you joined Remind. If you haven't already done so, um, I am asking you to join Remind. And when I send out an announcement and ask for a reply, please reply to that. I received replies from a handful of you, but I know some of you have yet to do that. So one reason why I'm asking you to do that is just because your instructors will expect you to reach out to them, to check your email, to check whatever mode of communication um, they're requiring of you. So it's just good practice um, to be looking through your notifications and making sure that you're corresponding, especially if someone's trying to schedule a meeting with you or something like that. So joining Remind, you should have completed task one. If not, um, Cody has probably been in contact with you. You should have at this point also completed task two. Um, if not, again, Cody will be reaching out to you. Um, task three is due at some point today. So hopefully you finish that up um, before the end of the day today. And then I'm here to chat with you about task four. So you can kind of get started on that or have an, at least have an idea of what I'm looking for over the weekend um, that will be due on Monday. So you might notice that each task is becoming a little bit more lengthy and labor intensive. Um, that's how this workshop is designed. So just keep that in mind. It's always a good idea to watch the videos at least read through the prompt for each and every task or assignment, not just in this class, but in all your classes. So then you can have a better idea of how to organize your time. If you know you have a really packed day on Saturday, please do as much as you can today. And then you can have, you know, a leisurely day on Sunday or whatever your schedule is like, but go ahead and read through the assignment. So that way you can kind of um, anticipate how you would like to spend your weekend going into next week. Um, we'll be writing a lot more and you'll be reading a lot more as well. Okay, with that being said, let's get into task four. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Blackboard Learn. Here we are at our homepage. We'll click through that menu. I'm gonna go ahead, show link to task four. So, do, do, do. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and add that in there for you real quick. Task four. Let me go ahead and copy and paste this into the prompt for you. This is how the magic happens behind the curtain. Okay. Let's finish up this part. There we go. We'll go ahead and paste this next half. Keep formatting. All right. Here is task four for you. And then I will post a link to the blog, an item directly under this one uh, for your response here. But real quick, I wanna run through the prompt with you. So this is kind of a two-part task. You'll notice it says part one and part two here. I would like you to complete this task in writing. Um, last task I know for task three, we did videos. So this week I'm kind of asking you to concentrate on your writing. Um, I'm also going to walk you through Google Docs and Google Drive this morning for me, but whenever you're watching this, um, many students come into English 130 with a working understanding of Google Classroom, but less understanding of Google Drive. And in college, we don't use Google Classrooms. We just use Google Drive. So my drive is packed with um, files that I use all the time, but I always break my personal Google Drive down into like session, sessions. So fall, spring, summer, and then I build out my courses from there just to stay organized. So that way 
um, each of my courses has um, documents that are only for that course. So that way I can kind of quickly find everything. So here we are in my early start course. Um, but if you're not yet in your drive, you can just Google. And then up here in this top right corner, there's always that menu and you can just go to your drive from there. Then if you're not logged in, you'll wanna log into your Chico State drive. <clears throat> okay. So if you haven't done so already, I'm gonna walk you through how to create a folder for Summer Bridge. So here you are in your drive. You're gonna click on this plus sign in the top corner. Add a folder. Summer Bridge. Let's do early start. Summer Bridge. Create. So you'll notice it will automatically highlight your folder. And then if you'd like, you can rename it. You can change the color. So there's some ways you can sort of customize these folders, but you'll open it up. It will be empty because you haven't done anything in it yet. Just know that anything that you open up will now live inside this folder. So if you picture a paper folder or like a three ring binder, you open it up and then place some stuff in there. Then when you come back to it, the same stuff's gonna be in it. That's the same concept here. Um, so you'll just go to new folder. You can cre create subfolders within these folders, or you can go to a new Google Doc, which is what I'm going to ask you to do. And then here, for every single document you ever create in this class or in any other class, you're going to write your first name, your last name, and then the assignment. So this is gonna be task four. For now, that's really, really great. That's what I'm, I'm asking you to get started with your notes and everything here. In order for me to see your folder, you have to share it with me. In order for me to see your docs, you have to share them with me. So if we go back to this folder, so it says early start summer bridge, in this drop down menu, you can click on share. And this is mine. So my email address is already in there, but you can go ahead and share your folder with me. So just use this amatucci at mail.csuchico.edu address. And I'll make sure to put that in the assignment instructions right here. Okay. So you have this document. It's now shared with me. Make sure that you press done. So now if I'm in my drive, which I already am, I can go to shared with me and look at what's been shared with me recently. So then you're ready to get started. So why we created this doc, let me find the doc. Why we created this doc is because this is where um, I would like you to start composing your notes for task four. You're gonna create, and it says I say chart, and you're also gonna create, um, compose a reflection, a brief reflection. Um, but before you do that, you're gonna annotate some text. So part one, everyone will create and post and it says I say chart for the first part of this task. Feel free to copy and paste the chart below into your blog response or insert a new two by 10 chart to get started. Okay, let's just pause there. We know we're gonna create this chart that I can really easily scroll down and see this here. Eh, why not? Let's go ahead and control or command C to copy it. 
and I'll go ahead and paste that in my doc. Does that work? No, it didn't work how I would like it to. So then the other instructions say you can go to insert, chart, I mean table, two by, let's do 10. This is, it says, this is, I say, okay. So now, this is the first prompt here. Cool. Now I do have that first part at least set up. Part two, to complete the second part of this task, you'll dig a bit deeper and further analyze direct quotes, claims, and ideas from your chart that you selected directly. Let me make that change for you from the target text. Your reflection should be 300 to 400 words or a few paragraphs long. So the purpose of this table is to pull some quotes that we're then going to transform into a short reflection. And that reflection is going to be blog four. So what goes in this table? These TED Talks do. Basically, you're going to choose one TED Talk. Notice it's highlighted and bolded. It's bolded, actually, um, to just choose one. So you have three choices. You can watch this TED Talk from America Ferrera. The thing that's different about a verbal vacation home, you always have the whole place to yourself. Okay. So what I'm asking you to do is watch the TED Talk. That's probably not new to anyone, but I would also like you to annotate the transcript. So what I'm doing here is these three buttons. You can click on that and it'll say show transcript. Pretty much any YouTube video has a transcript. We just maybe aren't aware of that. Um, so I find it super helpful for you know me just as a learner, but also to have students copy and paste these transcripts into docs. And then it's very easy to quote and make notes from there. All right, so obviously the format of the transcript makes it really look like it's long, but it's not a lot of writing at all. Um, it will probably take you less time to read and annotate this than it does for the speaker to talk. So I'm just cleaning this up a bit. So I don't have a big blank space there. Okay. So I encourage you to watch the TED Talk through once. If this is your choice, remember you have the three to choose from. So go ahead and click around, listen to a, a part of each one and see which one speaks to you um, the most. You're going to watch them all um, in detail and trans. Are you going to transcribe them all? Let me take a look. Yes, excuse me. You're going to watch all three TED Talks and you're actually going to annotate. So the process that we're doing now, you're going to annotate all three. You're only going to fill your chart out for the one. All right. So I like to always make sure that I have the title. Get back to my doc for the title of the TED Talk here at the top. Then let's try to make this a little bit easier to make notes on. Okay. So I'm going to watch the talk and then make notes here on the transcript. So anything that sticks out to me, anything I might want to write about later on, I can just copy and paste 
I can just copy and paste keywords, quotes, etc. So when I say annotate, what I mean is mark up this page. So first of all, here, you can go to the comment feature, America Ferrera. So this should be, I'm making my notes here, actress, activist, and professor. So how I know what I wanna make notes about or what my notes should look like is also outlined here. We go back to the task. These annotation strategies will walk you through some of the notes you can take. So notice the structure and organization. When was the text created? So you might need to do some flipping back and forth. It looks like text was created. So then I can add a comment. So back up here to the add comment feature. Created June 2019. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit more of a lengthy process. So you're gonna read through the annotation strategies. When I say author, I also mean speaker. The genre the type of text this is. So this is a TED talk, right? When I say text, I mean it in the broadest sense, just like with the previous tasks. So that could be a speech, that could be a poem, that could be a book. Um, right now we're focusing on TED talks. And then how is this piece organized? Let's take another look here. This is where I would note those timestamps, I would say. Genre, TED Talk, organized with timestamps. Sometimes students have a little resistance to making such detailed notes right in the beginning, but I really encourage you to mark up these TED Talks because it makes it so much easier to then copy and paste the takeaways into this chart that we created at the top here, okay? So after you do this for the three TED Talks, going back to that task four. So this is the first one. So you're gonna also do this for this code switching TED Talk because the same annotation process. And you're also going to do the same process for this John Bowlby TED Talk. What do I want? Oh, I want to sorry. know myself. And BetterHelp makes that possible. Okay. So again, the transcript is here. Make sure you have the title. Reorganize it a bit. And then you can go ahead and continue to annotate on your doc. So why I'm having you create these docs and annotate everything in here is it's a lot of writing. It's a lot of work, right? So this work isn't going to actually show up on your blog. That's why I'm having you do it in Google Docs, okay? Um, so your annotations, you're not going to put in your blog. They're just going to be... Um, for you, for your own notes. And so a lot of the reading and note taking that you take in college, you're not necessarily gonna turn in, you're doing it to help you bridge um, your thoughts, the text, and then the assignment. So these annotation strategies will help you make all those connections more explicit throughout the process. So this is gonna take you a while to annotate these three TED Talks. 
So we'll go back here to the assignment. Then after you've transcribed, um, or sorry, you've annotated all three of those, then you'll choose one. And that's what you're gonna do um, for this table. So after you have all those notes in there, you should have a, a better idea of like what's interesting to you, what stands out. And then you're gonna pull those, what we call golden lines, those things that really stand out that you maybe don't agree with, that you maybe take issue with, that resonated with you, that made you feel some type of way. You're gonna pull those lines and then you're going to analyze them by saying, this is what they say. So direct quotes from the talk. You can copy and paste into this column and then you're gonna express how you feel about them here. And then these are just some prompts that can help you do that. This is just, the table is just for one of those three TED Talks. After you complete that table, then you're gonna use the table to help you write a reflection. So you should have a, any number of notes, entries in there. America Ferreira said this, I think this. America said this, I think this, right? So once you do that, then you have a really nice outline for a paragraph. So after you have those, you're gonna write a brief reflection and all that info is right down here. After completing the table, choose three to five golden lines from your chart to further expand in writing. You should choose parts of the text that are most impactful, like, like I just said. And then you'll notice that these sentence frames will really help you with your transitions when you go to write those paragraphs, okay? So what I'm asking for you for task four, grand scheme of things watch three TED Talks, make annotations, do that in your Google Docs, then switch gears, complete your, it says, I say chart with one of the TED Talks, and then write your reflection about the one TED Talk that you also did the chart for. I hope that that's all clear. If you get caught up in annotating on your Google Docs, just know that there's a ton of tutorials out there. So um, you can watch any number of tutorials about uh, using the features of Google Docs. If you get caught up about uh, with sharing something with me, just text me and usually I can help you reshare. Um, I think that's it for now. Um, once you submit task four, then we'll move on to task five. Um, task five is gonna, again, be a little bit more detailed as well, labor intensive as well. So please plan for that. Okay, good luck and I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.